The eight fears are primarily descriptive. The eight fears are represented in art uh, quite frequently and usually with the deities Avalokiteshvara and Tara. Now, to understand where they come from, we have to look at literature, and these eight fears are coming out of the Avalokiteshvara early tantric literature. And uh, what are the eight fears? Well, specifically, they're the fear of lions, elephants, snakes, ghosts, uh, fire, like your house burning down, water, meaning flood or drowning at sea, uh, robbers, and false imprisonment. Now, the ghost can sometimes be substituted with chondro and chondroma, uh, but this is not really a big deal since uh, chondro, chondroma means um, dakas and dakinis, and dakas and dakinis originally are really just uh, spirits and witches from uh, cemeteries in the true sense. Um, robbers can also be substituted for barbarians, and we do find that with some uh, art uh, during some periods of time. So we have these eight. Now these eight, uh, some are dealing with elements, some are dealing with animals, others are dealing with uh, social um, um, situations. We also have to understand that there can be 16 um, uh, fears, not just eight, uh, and uh, different ones can be substituted depending on the teacher, depending on the purpose. And these are uh, also understood from the point of outer, inner, and secret. Uh, and that's really a later development. The inner is, can, be, can be found in earlier commentaries. Uh, and what it has to do with is understanding the eight fears also to have an inner component to, to do with uh, pride, ignorance, uh, envy, uh, attachment, aversion, etc. So these are the eight fears. Now, the, how we understand them in art is actually as, um, as uh, images, as pictures uh, uh, presented in a narrative sense with either the deity Avalokiteshvara or Tara. Now, with Avalokiteshvara, we have two forms that are important. One is uh, an Avalokita with 11 faces and eight arms in a seated posture, and then he has eight wrathful uh, deities around him, which each represent uh, the overcoming of one of the fears. Then we have a form of uh, Avalokiteshvara with one face and eight arms, and in each of the hands of the eight arms, he's holding one of the fears, meaning he's holding a lion, he's holding an elephant, he's holding a snake, he's holding a, 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 a little wisp of fire, he's holding some water, uh, he's holding a person to represent robbers, etc., Usually he's holding like a box or a, a kind of a cage to represent false imprisonment. So these are the two forms that where we find Avalokiteshvara representing the, the fears. Now with Tara, we have um, green Tara and we have white Tara. And generally how it's depicted, and, and it can, and it's, the only, we have green tar and we have white tar because they're the most popular. Um, this is not to say that there can't be other forms of tara uh, where the uh, eight fears are being represented and being overcome. Now, typically, these, these paintings can be done as a single composition with all eight fears being subdued in a single composition, or they can be spread over a series of three or nine uh, painting compositions. And typically what we see is a narrative scene. We see a Tara sitting somewhere in the sky or on a throne or in a palace. And, and in front of her is, a, is a, a human being, a person who's being afflicted by a snake or who's running out of a house that's on fire or who's in a boat uh, with a large wave coming, crashing down, or the, or the boat is breaking in two. So it's generally with these narrative scenes that we, we can discover these eight fears and how they're depicted in art. And there really is a lot of art depicting these, uh, this, this topic. So don't forget, press the like button, you can subscribe, you can also uh, join Horror on Patreon and help us support the work that we do.